Hey everybody, welcome back. Got a unique kit that I'm about to start building. Uh, this monogram. No, it's not as old as you think it is, but it, it does have some age to it. This monogram, Hearst Harry Olds. And it is a uh, 442 with two engines in it. This thing was some sort of... I never saw this. That's, this is a first. Um, I want to thank Mark over at Hobby Nut Models. He sent me this kit. No, he doesn't have this one for sale or anything because this is just one that he came across and said, hey, would you like to build this? And of course I would. But this is an old re-release. It, 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 the date on the box, which shows there, 1967, that was the original release date or um, copyright date. But this is this kit is actually from 1995. But it was just like a uh, rebox of the old kit. But yes, it's got an engine in the front and the back. And if you'll notice the old, uh, hubcaps, it's Cadillac. So it had, as I was reading the uh, instructions, it had two Cadillac Eldorado, I think what it was, engines in it. Two... Um, Tornado, two Tornado front ends, one in the front, one in the back. So this is going to be cool. It's kind of a curbside. It's got the, the uh, hopefully the uh, decals will turn out okay. They look good. Kind of a curbside kit because the hood doesn't come off. Actually, the uh, interior is stuck up in there. Not a lot of detail as far as the engines go and things like that. You can see here are the engines. Um... And it's got a blower, it's got, you know, but, but you can definitely tell that there's not much detail to the engines because they're hidden under the hood and hidden in the, uh, in the back here, but it's going to be cool. It's like going back in time, like how the old tires are, those bias ply drag tires, but even the way these are made, this big ginormous, let me show you this big giant insert actually goes in. You press that into the into the tire. Which tires are kind of hard, but I'll get those in there. But yes, it's going to be neat. It's going to be a pretty quick build. I don't think it's going to take long, but it has a unique paint job, which I'm going to try to try to make happen. Um, I've got the gold and I've got the black, and I'm going to strap it up and see what we can do with it. Won't be much chrome on this one. It does have a little bit of chrome. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to get started on this thing. I'm going to start gluing a few things together. And we'll get some paint on it, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Hurst Harry Olds, the monogram. Pretty darn cool. See you in a bit. Well, I've got the body primered. Got some parts painted. The chassis, the book, or the uh, interior tub is, is painted. A few little things painted. Um, trying to figure out... Should I paint the gold first or the black first? Looking at the paint scheme, it may be easier to paint the gold first. The reason I say that is because if I paint the, what do you think about this? It won't matter what you think about it because by the time you see this video, I already have it painted. But anyway, <clears throat> like I'm really asking you, if I were to paint the black, paint the entire body black, and then I take off the black so then I could paint my gold, this area right here, it gets small. It gets really small. And that would be tough to take that with my butt. If I painted it gold first, then I would tape off my gold. And you have this large area. To tape off what do you think the paint doesn't cost any more a bottle of gold and a bottle of black both cost a dollar 99 a piece so it really doesn't matter to me 
but what in the world? I'm not the greatest at paint jobs. All right, well, that's what it looks like now. And then I'm going to scratch my head a little while longer and we'll, we'll see what I decide. Probably gold. No, the black first. Yeah. I don't know. I'll see here in a minute. Stand by. Okay, so I've got the gold on it and I have taped it up for spraying the black. So this is going to be interesting. Um, hopefully the paint doesn't peel off all my gold paint. Although I did lay a, you know, I've got this over primer, so it shouldn't. But anyway, yeah, I got my black paint mixed up. So I'm going to spray it. I'm not going to video me spraying it, but I'm going to spray it. And uh, when I come back, we'll, uh, we'll see how it turned out. So uh, hold on just a second. All right, so here we are. I'm on another bench, by the way. It looks a little different over here. Got the paint job done other than the clear or the gloss finish. It's not on it yet. Got the inches together. This is a real basic type of kit, like I mentioned before, somewhat of a curbside. So the engines are very low detail because you can't open the hoods. You can only see through the hood scoop. And... Uh, I'll definitely do some black washing on the chrome there. I'm already working on the rims. I'm using an acrylic, black acrylic paint rather than the black wash that I usually use the Tamiya um, just to get them. I'm, I've got a several more rounds of uh, shining on there and polishing the black out. They look horrible right now, but they won't look like that when I'm finished. But yeah, it's a real easy kit as far as parts count. If you ever can pick one of these up, you don't have any trouble building it. I mean, you can see this super basic. It's like there's the engine. Put them on <laughs> and put the body on. But yeah, it's a super basic kit. But yet, you know what? With these, after these decals are on there, it's going to look pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. More than likely, when I come back here, this thing will be together and finished. Unless I run into something and need to come back and tell you about it. But more than likely, the next clip will be... Uh, We'll be checking it out. So uh, I'm not sure if it will be or not, but uh, stand by. All right, everybody. Here's the finished product. The Hurst Harry Olds twin engine drag car. All right, real quick. For all you, <laughs> for all you that heard my, um, uh, mistake these aren't Cadillac engines and they're not Cadillac hubcaps okay gotcha all right we're good right they're Tornado I even read that on the instructions but it, it didn't click with me I said they were Eldorado Cadillac because I always assume I, I didn't really think about the Tornado Tor Tor being front-wheel drive but it was <clears throat> and um, yeah so this is a two Tornado Osmobile engines and those are Tornado hubcaps. So I know I'm sure in the comments I'll still get the no, it's Tornado, not Cadillac. Okay, so anyway, all right, anyways, here it is, guys. The uh, completed, <laughs> completed Hurst Harry Olds drag car 124 scale re release in 1995 by. Um, monogram, Ravel, or yeah, Ravel monogram, I think is what it was. So, uh, yeah, this is, a uh, this is interesting to say the least. Um, I've never built like a curbside kit like this at least because this curbside kit, yeah, well, is it a curbside kit? I don't know. It's got engines in it, but you can't open the hood. Um, you can, you can definitely look under the bottom. 
and uh, you can see the engines and they're they're super basic I mean like basic as can be but you know it it, it looks good from the top I tried to detail the engines as much as possible just with some black wash I, the butterflies I got them red you can't even really see the ones in the in the back engine back there and, and here's your interior that's just basic but um, the entire kit was such a low parts count I mean it was like seems like a beginner's kit but it's gonna look good on the shelf I've got a I've got my drag cars all in in a row well except for that cutlass or that whatever that is down there that Oldsmobile then I've got my street cars then I've got my old cars and then I've got my trucks but anyway this is gonna squeeze in here somehow or another and uh, on my drag car on my drag car um, shelf so uh, yeah not too bad I black wash the wheels they turned out really nice the poor guys back in the 60s that had to work with these ugly bias ply drag slicks man no wonder no wonder when you watch those old um drag videos back from the 60s like nhra drag videos that they just smoked the tires all the way down the track they couldn't get any traction i guess because the sidewalls were probably as hard as a brick but you know tire technologies come a really 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 long way um you would not make it far driving that thing on a dirt road it would plow because the the uh the front and the back have that drop down um chassis yeah so it would uh this was a purpose-built vehicle i've got to look up some videos i do have a okay so one quick thing notice the paint job it's got a stripe it's got the two gold stripes now notice my paint job. It's got a single gold stripe down the middle. All right, I'm gonna put in the, I'm gonna put a picture, like I'm gonna do something like some of these vloggers. I'm gonna put a picture right here. This is what I come up with everywhere except the model box. It had the solid stripe going down it. So an actual car, the actual Hearst, Harry Olds. Um, I'm pretty sure it only had the solid stripe down there, so I did it that way. Um, I could have done it like the box, but I just chose to do it like the real car. So uh, some of the decals gave me some trouble because not that they broke. The, the decals actually slid off really, really nice. But what happens is your sheet yellows. I guess you, you guys know all about this. Tell me, Tell me what I need to do. The sheet yellows that they're on, so the decal is also sitting on top of that sheet. So when you slide the decal, that yellow gook that's under it comes off and then it's under the decal. So I should have had some decals along the bottom here. Some, uh, they were somewhat like the, uh, the, the name of the driver there, but I was able to clean that one up, but I couldn't do these. They were too, too darn small. But I don't know if there's any hope for them. If if you uh, anyway, they looked horrible. So I just before they got hard and dried, I went ahead and pulled them off. But these others where they could somewhat be disguised with the gold paint, um, they I went they all went on fine. But it was the ones that went on the black. They they gave me a, a big problem. So I didn't get to put those on there. But I did get to put some of them, and it turned out really nice. Gave the tires a good scuffing, so it looks like they've been smoking it down the the uh, drag strip. But but yeah, all in all, uh, good looking kit. Not a not a difficult kit. If you ever can buy this kit, and you you can find them on eBay. Um, get it. I mean, it, it's pretty cool. It's easy to build, quick build, and uh, you probably enjoy it. But yeah, it's just just nothing to it. And that other engine way back there in the back. How do you, don't you think that would bust your eardrums with that supercharger sucking that much air in? And that dude with a, you know, with a half face helmet on with some sort of air, air, uh, airsoft mask looks like that he was, uh, wearing. Man, the safety back in those days was wow.
I think your passenger cars today have way more safety in in them than uh, than these old drag cars. But anyway, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you, Mark at Hobby Nut Models. Guys, go over check him out. He gave me this kit to build. He doesn't keep this these kits. He does have some older NASCAR kits, and I say older, you know, '90s and things like that. But um, some like new old stock type kits i think they're under used but i don't really think they're used i think they're still in the plastic but that's how he's got them listed but go over and check out mark at hobby nut hobby nut models link in the description below and um see if there's anything he keeps updating his inventory on his 125th and 124th scale uh model kits he keeps updating that inventory and uh he's got some pretty cool stuff so go check him out and also go join our facebook group model car videos facebook group um, link in the description. Go check us out. Um, join. There's two questions that you must be able to uh, answer. Um, and I say this on every video. If you've ever built a model car, you, you know these two answers. But answer those questions and uh, me or my buddy Chris Callen will hit the accept button and you'll be a part of the group. And then we can start sharing information, photos of our builds, um, comments, jokes I don't, as long as it's model car related you can you can put it in there uh for the most part but we're having a great time there and uh yeah appreciate you guys watching um i'll have a slideshow now uh just following this and you can see the old hearst harry oldsmobile a little bit closer up and in person and uh give this video a like again subscribe if you haven't already and guys, I appreciate you watching. And uh, it won't be long. We'll have another video out and it'll be something else to talk about. So guys, have a good one. Take care. And we'll see you later. Take care. Bye.